Hi, this is M from WCCF Tech, and Apple has unveiled its M1 Ultra SoC and claimed that its 64-core GPU was faster than NVIDIA's flagship GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card. Now, with the first reviews out, it looks like that claim has been debunked as NVIDIA's offering simply destroys the M1 Ultra GPU in both gaming and compute benchmarks. According to Apple, the Apple M1 Ultra GPU comes with a 64-core unit that offers 8,192 execution units for up to 21 teraflops of single precision horsepower. The media engine on the Apple M1 Ultra is also composed of the latest hardware accelerated H.264, HVAC, ProRes, and ProRes with two video decode engines, four video encode engines, and four ProRes encode and decode engines. The GPU is getting access to 128 gigabytes of unified memory. Apple claims in its benchmark slides that the M1 Ultra GPU would offer similar performance to Nvidia's flagship GeForce RTX 3090 graphics card while sipping in 200 watts less power when compared. But that was just a claim as real benchmarks pushed by The Verge in their Mac Studio Ultra review show a totally different picture. In terms of gaming, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider was used for comparison at 1080p, 1440p, and 2160p resolutions. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 Ti shows up to 32% better performance at the 4K resolution and sits at the top. In addition to that, the reviewer noticed noticeable micro stuttering at all three resolutions, so it looks like for gaming, the GeForce and Radeon GPUs from NVIDIA and AMD are still going to be the top choice. But what about compute? The Mac Studio is designed for content creators, workstation users, and as such, the Apple M1 Ultra GPU should be pretty decent in those specific benchmarks, right? Well, with the Geekbench 5 OpenCL benchmark, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090 scores almost double what the Apple M1 Ultra SoC is managing. It's a 2.6 gain for the GeForce RTX graphics card on the desktop CPU. Even if we use an Apple optimized API such as Metal, the RTX 3090 still ends up over two times faster. Another interesting thing to note here is that while the M1 Ultra is essentially twice the configuration of the M1 Max, the performance doesn't scale that well across the compute and gaming benchmarks, in, at least in these tests. The M1 Ultra offers around 25-30% to 30 better performance than the Max chip. This should tell you how much confidence you should put into Apple's own numbers for their SoCs. It looks like the official benchmarks were performed under select workloads that favor the M1 Ultra GPU and not the real-world applications. For comparison, the GeForce RTX 3090 currently can be bought for around $2,000 US while the Mac Studio with a 64-core configuration and 128GB memory costs $5,800 US. So that should give you a price-to-performance comparison. But what do you think? Would you go for NVIDIA or AMD? Or would you try an Apple M1 Ultra? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more fantastic tech news.